Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing today? <laughs> Hi, guys. Get rid of my little notification. I wish I, there was a way to keep it from coming up every time, but I mean, what are you going to do? So, how's everyone? Hopefully you're surviving the heat. Well, I don't mean like right now, because according to my computer, it says it's 74 degrees out, which, you know, I'll take it. I don't like, well, this is about as warm as I like it. I definitely don't like 90s and 100s. Ugh. There's some of, the, some of you crazy people out there that definitely do. You like that kind of stuff. Not me. <coughs> <coughs> So, um, what do you say we go ahead and jump right into it, huh? Let me... <laughs> there we go. I could hear my uh, chair squeaking. And it does that when it's right kind of... It has... I haven't leaned it back enough where it locks in that first spot. And I move just ever so slightly and I'll hear a little squeak, squeak, squeak. So, <laughs> yeah. So I have to bring it back enough to get it to at least go one notch to stop that. And hopefully my air conditioner's not go not too loud. I mean, I double checked and triple checked to make sure I had everything ready for streaming. And then after I sat down this last time, I'm like, man, I forgot to turn off the air conditioner. <laughs> so hopefully it won't be too terrible. But... It's not like it's going to be on constantly. And, uh, unfortunately, we won't have Mary with us today. Because she's working. Alright, let's see. Check for our daily. What do we have for our daily? Oh, those are, yeah, crown repair kits. All, <clears throat> when you use this repair kit, restores all your damaged equipment to its original condition. This will, this I'll keep with uh, this character, just because, well, she's level thirty-four. She's the, she's uh, well, well, right now she's the second highest character um, that I have, the highest one in stream. So. I think we'll keep that with her. All right. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want. What I want to. What I want to do. It's not like we don't have stuff to do. It's just there are there are some things you know like 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 when Mary helps us. If she's in the middle of doing it, I. I would hate to, com you know, complete it without her. So let's, let's just check my journal and see where, what we have. Uh, okay, so there's the, that uh, bottle of wine. Oh, there's that Ashlander looking for her friend. to get that sword at Reed Rasavani's store. Well, we're going to have to do some because we've got to, we've got too many. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. We need to knock out some of these uh, guild ones. We've got look at all this prologue stuff. Jeez. There's a lot that I have picked up. Cause see, we can only have twenty-five uh, quests, and we're at eighteen. And these are all prologues to different things. Ugh. Let's see how many is there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven prologues. Uh. 
and this one's going to keep going to keep pop uh popping up the this harborage one uh for a while uh let's see okay so this is oh wait that says zone story oh right this is for the uh <clears throat> Uh, Dark Brotherhood and um, Thieves Guild. <laughs> Brains fried. Um, jeez. I got For Glory in there. Yeah, there's just a lot. I'm trying to figure out if we can, if there's some we can just knock out. What is this? Right, right, right. I keep forgetting what this one is. This is the one that I wanted to see if Mary wanted to go in with me to see if maybe we both can uh, take out the enemies. All right, let's 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 see if we can't... One, I'm thinking about maybe doing, seeing if we can just get one of these out of the way. The thing is, I don't know how long any of these are. Move along. Mercy, friend. Hmm. What do you say? You want to knock out one of these? Or start on one? Because these are all prologues. Um. Yes, it's gonna, we're going to be, we'd be doing some traveling. But this is what we've got the most of. And we really need to knock out some of these things or some of the, the guild ones political not unprofessional or uh. these are ones we need to do and say so I don't want to do I can't remember if we've no, we couldn't have done any uh, Dark Brotherhood or Partners or um, the um, Thieves Guild in stream because it would have to be on her. So, I don't know. Because more times than not, Mary's with us. <clears throat> I know she won't care because we'll have opportunities to do these quests um, at other times. Oh, there's the Cyrodiil collection one right there. Um, so I think these just are just like kind of like a fairly long kind of a quest. Each has its own quest line. And I want to get... I need to make some room in some of these. And it looks like it's either going to be guild or prologue. Um, you want me to run you in? We got so many people talking to us. See if I can't get us a little bit further away, so we don't hear so much. I'm trying to. I'm. I know. <laughs> if I think, what is with? What is with you, Grim? I am just trying. I want to obviously want to do stuff in here, but I also don't want to leave leave Mary out because she comes into so much of the stream. So it's kind of like she's, you know, she's an important part of of this stream, you know. So I'm trying to take take her into account, <clears throat> but it's not like all that stuff we won't do eventually in our co-op. So, and I know she's not going to care. I'm just overthinking. Just, 
sometimes, you know, when you're really thoughtful of other people's, you know, thoughts and feelings, <laughs> you do this, you can just overthink stuff. So, um, I am going to... I'm trying to think, do I want to... Do I want to run this uh, like this uh, with her or a different one? I'm, I'm just trying to think of when when you guys would see it. And you're not going to see it on the co-op because we already did that. And we're working on it just so that way we can have our be able to play our characters the way we want to, but only bring you new content. So... I guess I'll just start one of the... Uh, one of these guild ones. Um, so let's. We're going to uh, select voices in the dark. Because, like I said, we're going to do this to to um, open up some room. Um, so, there we go. I was looking for the uh, way shrine because we have to go to Anvil. There's a lot of quests to give us. It should be out. Yeah, as I said, to have a watch way shrine is outside, and I couldn't get up that wall. I try, though. There's the Way Shrine. Alright, so we're going to head to Anvil. And that is... See, we're right here. Here in Stone Falls, just south of Vardenfell. And we're going to go to Anvil, which is... Should be right there. That's where we're headed. So we're going to be in this area for a little bit, but we're not going to be questing. Well, we're not going to be doing area quests. We're here for the Dark Brotherhood quest line. That is all we're going to do. All right, so all we have to do now is go find an innocent to kill. Which really is not that hard. I know something. Where is... I keep forgetting about. Where is the, uh, the inn in this place? That's just a boat. Okay. No, that's a guild trader. Oh, it, that's the mud crab and suds. That's got to be... Looks like it makes sense. Because I know part... Um, when you do the... Dark Brotherhood quest line they mention about a, a Dark Brotherhood member that had been oh, caught I don't know if I can take and they st staked him up you know, in an inn and I don't remember what inn it uh, that was mentioned um, so I just wanted to find this one to see if maybe by some sick chance it was this one and it's he was still there I don't remember... I don't see anything. I don't remember... Uh, like I said, if an inn was even mentioned. And I always forget, because I think, you know, if it happened, it's going to be here in town. Because this is where... Um, the Dark Brotherhood um, has one of their sanctuaries. Alright, so... Oh, can't kill her. Oops. I need to go to the right area. This th 
yeah, this is the area that I want to be in. Alright, so. Let's see if I can find anybody back here. Trying to find an innocent without too many people seeing. be able to just let's see <coughs> you there wait for a moment if you would that's what I was waiting for all right there's the courier pardon the interruption I've been looking for you can I help you with something not me but I have something for you a letter confidential private I have it here somewhere ah yes here it is. Interesting. I'm also supposed to extend a verbal invitation to visit the lighthouse. Odd that they didn't just put that in the letter. The lighthouse? Yes, the Anvil Lighthouse, just up the way. The sender ordered me to direct you there after I handed over the letter. Glad I found you. After looking for a woman with the eye patch all day, I figured I was in for a late night. The woman with the eye patch? Emily Crow? Do you know her? I gave her a letter right there on the anvil docks. I have no idea where she went in such a hurry, but she seemed excited to receive it. Anyway, I have more deliveries to make before I can rest for the day. Farewell. I just realized I've been uh, uh, mispronouncing her name this whole time. I've been calling her Amelia Crow. It's Emily. A-M-E-L-I-E. -E. I thought it was Amelia I guess it would be an easy mistake because while Amelia isn't spelt that way, typically the name, you know, Emily, it, that's not, that's a very unusual name. Huh. Emily. Almost sounds like Emily. Yeah, I've been calling her Amelia this whole time. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the gods keep you. <sighs> All right. So now we have to go to the lighthouse. Let's see, there's the lighthouse. So the best way to do it is to swim. Well, I mean, you could go around. But, you know, we kind of gave ourselves uh, a bounty. <laughs> That's one thing, it just, it... Uh, well, I guess it depends on, on what you pick. But, um... If you're trying to do a quick one-on-one -on -one kill, it's hard to do it with a caster unless it, you have nothing but one-on-one -on -one spells and they don't do, you know, AoE damage, splatter damage, you know, anything like that. Even then, it's, it's going to take too long. Come closer, oh, I was trying to click on the book. No remorse. You do have the eyes of a killer. How many lives ended looking into those eyes? Enough that the Night Mother has noticed, obviously. Which brings us both to this place and time. <laughs> I lost my train of thought when it... <clears throat> I was trying to click on the shiny book before uh, I clicked on the speaker. Oh well, we'll do that afterwards then. 
Who are you? I am a speaker for the Dark Brotherhood. I speak with the voice of the Night Mother. I act with the hands of our dread father, Sirius. I have an offer to make to one so skilled in the art of murder. An invitation, if you will. I'm listening, speaker. As well you should. I am certain you have questions, but first, we must determine if you are worthy of joining the Dark Brotherhood. You take lives easily and without hesitation. We know that you can kill. Now show us that you can also obey. I'm ready to hear your proposal. Splendid. We shall see how well you marry business with death. But first, allow me to present you with a gift. I shall teach you how to call upon a particular tool of our trade. What sort of tool? A tool for dealing death, of course. One forged by unseen hands. The Blade of Woe. Wield it from the shadows and its edge shall deliver your prey to Sithis. I accept your gift. In return, I expect only unwavering loyalty and ruthless efficiency. Now, let us discuss the task before you. A killing that shall form a covenant between us, signed in blood. The Imperial Noble, Lord Quintus Gerald, has been marked for death by the Black Sacrament. Your task is simple. To find Gerald. And kill him. Why has he been marked for death? That isn't a question we ask. Suffice to say, he offended someone enough to get them to perform the Black Sacrament. The Night Mother heard the prayer, and now Gerald must die. This is the task I have set before you. I'll kill Lord Quintus Gerald. The noble's estate can be found northwest of Anvil along the Gold Road. How you perform the execution is up to you. Just make sure Lord Quintus Gerald dies by your hand. Then your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Who's the Night Mother? Our unholy matron and the one true bride of Sithis. We are her children, forever wrapped in her cold. So the Night Mother is your leader? There will be time enough for more questions after you complete the task before you. Just know that she watches you. She loves you. As she loves all her children. Do not disappoint her. What's the Black Sacrament? The Black Sacrament is a ritual by which a client procures the Dark Brotherhood's service. Using an effigy of the intended victim, a client pleads for the Night Mother to send an assassin to end the specified life. With no remorse, no regret. So the Dark Brotherhood is a group of paid assassins? To put it simply, yes. The lives of the innocent and the guilty alike are ours for the taking. And every soul goes to Sithis. As long as the price is paid. Death is our craft, our religion, and our trade. And business, as always, is good. <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically, that's the main difference between uh, the Morag Tong and the Dark Brotherhood. The Morag Tong are basically given uh, writs by the tribunal to execute someone. And so since it's by the highest form of authority, it's a legal murder. As far as the Dark Brotherhood is uh, concerned, as long as you know uh, what the Black Sacrament is and the prayer, uh, you know there just has to be somebody that you want dead it doesn't matter why or who. All you have to do is follow what it says to to do it, um, in the book. You do the prayer. Well, you have to keep 
doing the prayer until either you give up or the night mother uh, sends a um, an assassin and you know then they go and you know as long as there's payment then the assassin goes and kills the intended person so the person could be a pillar of the community done absolutely you know nothing wrong but for some reason this person thought they looked at looked at them sideways and for that reason they want this person dead you know if they do the sac you know as long as they do the black sacrament that per and as long as the night mother decides to pick up that uh you know answer that prayer that person's going to die so it doesn't matter who they are whether they've done anything or not whether they're you know innocent or guilty whether you know angel or devil type thing doesn't matter that's the big distinction between those two factions uh, tell me more about the Blade of Woe. The Blade of Woe is the ebony dagger of our brother. It is a single weapon, unique and powerful in the right hands. When one of our brothers or sisters needs the blade for a kill, it appears to help carry out the assassination. All right, see, now we have the Blade of Woe. So, one of the options, um, we're going to have to go and talk to him again. Be, I don't know why this one does this. It Because uh, we had to ask him for advice. But because I asked him for the uh, about the Blade of Woe first, then for some reason this conversation ended and we have to start a new one. But, um, anyways, um, like I was going to say, um, if you don't want to do any more of the Dark Brotherhood quest line, you don't have to. We've got the Blade of Woe now. And it is basically it's a it's a you know, it's a free weapon that doesn't take up a slot. All you have to do is crouch down and get within range and then it'll pop up on your screen. Uh, for me, since I'm using a controller, it'll say press Y, you know, uh, Y and B, and then you just automatically, you know, go for the kill. <coughs> so, like I said, it's a free weapon. Oh, and when if you can do a Blade of Woe, it's always um, a death blow. Always. So... That's one thing to consider. So, like I was going to say, if you don't want to complete the, I mean, keep going with this quest line, you don't have to. We could just leave. And just leave it Leave it at this. We have the Blade of Woe. You know, we, if that's how we wanted to play it, we could. But, like I've mentioned before, this is just like any other main quest line thing. This has its own progression at the end of each chapter we would get a skill point. So even if you're wanting to play your character like a good person, if you want to gain extra skill points, you can, you know, you can go through this line and just just do the quests that go along with it. You don't have to go out and steal, you know, rob people blind and just kill innocents just for fun. You don't have to. All right, I'm going to talk to Speaker uh, Tyrannus again. The noble's estate can be found northwest of Anvil along the Gold Road. How you perform the execution is up to you. Just make sure Lord Quintus Gerald dies by your hand. Then your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Here's what we didn't... Uh, for some reason it wouldn't let us ask after I asked about the Blade of Woe. Any words of wisdom before I set out to murder the noble? Traveler asks for directions before the path diverges. Never hesitate to rely on your fellow Brotherhood members once you complete your initiation. I assume you want to know what awaits you at the noble's estate. 
I suppose that's as good a place to start as any. Billing requires few special skills, but reaching the target, that's the real task, isn't it? High walls, locked gates, and armed patrol to protect the estate. There is another way to reach the estate grounds, if you're interested. I'm interested. A series of smuggler tunnels runs beneath the withered rose and leads directly to the estate's courtyard. That's the route I would take. And don't forget to bring lockpicks. Gerald is a cautious man. He never leaves a door unlocked behind him. What's the Withered Rose? The Withered Rose? A small hostel outside the city. Our lovely mother and daughter own the place. But they've had trouble making ends meet. The smuggler tunnels provide them with an alternate source of income. All right, now let's see if we can zero in on this book. There we go, Exposing a Terrible Evil. All right, now we'll go and see what there is to loot in here, which I know there's not much at all. There should be fruit, banana, apple, grapes, apple, a drink. Um, let's see. Ooh, there's a design. An empty Nord pot. That's, there's a, tr a trunk. I guess... Oh, that's a little s small to be a trunk, isn't it? I know it's trunk-shaped. I would have just called it maybe like a jewelry box. I don't know. Okay. And there's only a couple of places. There's just a door that we can't get through there. No, nope, that's the seat. Right, cabinet. Cupboard. Weird place to put apples, but whatever. Another cabinet. That, go, that just leads out out back, but outside. I love how he's like, don't forget to bring lockpicks. And if you actually <coughs> search, then um, you're going to find at least two. But in this game, if you haven't played it, you know, you're going to have, well, let's see right now how many lockpicks I had before I just collected those two. I think that stuff is under supplies. And plus we can read these. Oh, I already have that one. Alright, so let's see. 120. I have 120 lockpicks. Mind you, I have not bought any lockpicks. I was not given any lockpicks by Mary or anybody else. So before I even walked into this uh, lighthouse. I had a hundred and eighteen lockpicks. Lockpicks is something you are not ever going to run out of. You will never need to buy lockpicks. I mean, unless you sell the ones you get, or get rid of them, or don't take them when you find them, which would be crazy. Okay, so now we have to go to the Withered Rose, which is right there. And we have to avoid guards. Well, that's only if we don't want to get, you know, have to pay that fine and whatever stuff we stole taken from us. But I do know that the... Uh, It's not up here. There's... Oh, no, it is here. Outlaw Refuge was right here. So, this will help. We'll dip in here real fast. Alright. 
wants the merchant. I don't want the merchant. I want the fence. I think the fence. Nope, that's the money lender. Where is the fence? I haven't been in here too many times. Well, let's just look on the map. Fence. So, swing around. There we go. You want to succeed in this business? You learn which dogs to feed and which to beat. All right, I'll just go ahead and pay him. Get rid of get rid of my uh, bounty. Hey, I wasn't done with you. I don't want to know you. You'll be dead within the year. That's what you think. Actually, I've been dead a few times. So I just have two things to sell. Hmm. All right. Um, well, you know, there's two. There were two fences in here. Just wanted to see who else is in here. There's a merchant. Let's see if I have anything to get rid of. Can I help you? Let's see. Poison. I'll sell that one. Hmm. Don't know where I got that. don't know if Mary needs either one of these, so I'll hold on to them for now. <clears throat> Let me get rid of that. No. Look at that. 616 uh, gold repair bill. Might as well. Alright. Well, now we're done. Well, done in here for now. So now we'll head back to the surface. Wherever. Let's look at the map. Come, do your trading here. Come, do your trading here. So to the right. Wait. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. Just makes it easier if I'm going to be, you know, near the general populace to get rid of my bounty. Right. Oh, this was a different. And oh, where I'm back inside the city. Oh, man, and I don't want to... Let's see. Well, it's not like they're going to gonna, gonna uh, see us or anything. That's not what I mean. We're not... We no longer have a bounty. So we don't have to worry about going through town and getting caught. That's what I was meaning. I was gonna say I'm seeing all these arrows, all these quest arrows, but then I realized I remembered. Oh yeah, we're it's because we're <laughs> because we're in a region we're not questing in. And that's the withered rose, correct? Yes. So we are going the right way. And you'll get to see uh, 
the blade of woe in action. Uh, I don't know if there's anything anything worthwhile around here, but we'll do a quick look. I don't see anything. Let's see if the Blade of Woe would work on her. Yep, see? There it is. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? And then anything anything you take off of somebody you murdered is con well is considered stolen, which you know some of you might want to say duh, but think about all the you know what we're what to us are enemies when we kill them, we get to loot their bodies and it's not considered stealing. <laughs> I think everything in here is stealing except there's a, you know, couple of Oh, there's at least one sparkly. But I'm not going to have her run around stealing. Okay. Um Not much Not much going on in here. Thought there was somebody in here. Maybe maybe uh, somebody killed her. Because I could have sworn there's usually somebody in here. Oh well. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. One of these days, I hope I will find a lock that will have all those pins line up. I don't care where, just as long as they line up. I came close yesterday, uh, twice, I think. And usually, if you're gonna if you're gonna steal, um, make sure it's something that is forty gold or higher. Don't steal um, crafting items because it's not gonna go in your crafting bag unless you launder it. So it will take up um, inventory space. Whisker Ear Scraper. Ew, why did I read that? Did I get everything out of there? Oh, Wax Portrait Card. No, this is just stuff. I hate that, it, that it's called Treasure, though. That irritates me. Just because Treasure would be something that you would either sell or keep. With this Treasure, you can only sell it. Or destroy it. You can't... You can't keep it. Well, I mean, you can keep it in your inventory. But I mean, it's not something you can display. So it's not... It can't be used as a decoration. Which... Which I find irritating. Because there have been times where I've gotten items. You know, from either through a pickpocket or looting a dead body. And... It'd be like, hey, I would, I would really like that. That would be pretty cool to have. But no, it's just something that you have to sell. I just don't think um, people have respawned because there should be one person there. And I think there's supposed to be a, one person around here. So yeah, that other... Uh, That other assassin that we saw uh, go in, he uh, t 
took everybody out. So I'm just going to step back and I'm going to wait just a little bit. Because, I mean, what's the point of getting the Blade of Woe if you can't use it, right? The stream is running pretty smoothly. And I know you can't can't see it because it's the little square in the bo bottom left where you see my ugly mug. There is a round symbol uh, broken into three segments, and inside of it is a an eye, not a. Well, I guess it would be like a just resting eye shaped, you know, kind of like that, and then just to the right of that it says zero and then shows the coin symbol uh, what that is is it just tells you like the eye would mean that you know I guess people are would be like on the lookout for you because um, you're in a you're in a restricted area that can can change if it, it change if it changes to a sword that means your attack on site the number is uh, what your bounty is. All right. I've waited long enough. <clears throat> well, I don't know where... where they are. Yeah, see this uh, trap. Oh, it just came back. Oh, come on. There we go. Miniature fiddle. It's worth 103. Alright. Now, this is the, e the easiest way to get in there unnoticed is just come up along this wall. Is this guy following me? I bet you he is. I'm waiting for that guard to move. Just because you never know when they're going to turn around when they're when you come up to them and they're just standing there. Not sure why I couldn't kill her, but okay. I have been able to in the past. Doesn't matter now. trespassing. I am too trespassing. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're no, it's like, nope, you're no longer trespassing. Oh, wait, you are. Sorry. <laughs> I 
I don't believe there's anybody. I can't remember if there's anybody. Yes, there is. There she is. I forgot about her. And in case you're wondering, uh, no, you cannot select uh, what type of kill uh, you get. It's totally random. I just usually do it when I'm within range. And you'll either throw, your, throw the knife like that or do one of several uh, kills. I've never actually um, tried to keep track, you know, and wrote down how many uh, different kills there are, which would be kind of a neat thing to to do. Start keeping track, just to, just to kind of like a little thing to see if we got them all. Eh. <laughs> Creepy monkey puppet. This hideous, grimacing puppet is likely used to scold misbehaving children. The brass castanets could be resold. So it's supposed to look like, I guess... Well, no. Well, it says, says the brass castanets. The, um... You know the wind-up monkey? The, the one... That thing, I think that's I think it's like that only in puppet version, which using it to scold children, it's like that's a little screwed up if you think about it. So I'll steal that recipe, but I'll leave the obsidian. That's messed up if you think about it. It's like oh you're you know your child or our child is misbehaving, so. <laughs> We're just going to traumatize the little brat. <laughs> oh, okay, I already know that, so I don't want anything in there then. That is messed up. Embroidered hand towel. Okay, so I do believe that should be um, everybody on this level. Should be. Okay, so now we go upstairs. Yep, nothing there. I can't remember if I've ever come across anything in that cabinet. I think it's always been empty for me. letter from the governor. I'll let you folks read it if you like. Anything in the backpack? Portable chamber pot. Ew. But it's 40 gold. Thousand and one remedies for slaughter fish bites field guide. <laughs> We're definitely not stealing a lockpick. And if you see our um, objective changed, now we have to go and search the wine cellar. We just got that book. Why would they have two? Oh, well, we'll take that one as well. I mean, hey, 40 gold's 40 gold, right? Uh, I do believe we've gotten everything that we're going to take. So, down to the wine cellar. And it's weird this is her sneak. 
See, she's in sneak mode. You know, I have her crouching, but instead of crouching, she walks. And yet, that's... I can't remember... I don't think it's a race thing. I think it's a... Um, I want to say it's a uh, personality, I think. Well, what is her personality? Now I have to look. Appearance. Let's see. Alters those emotes. Um... I don't know. Let's see. Let's just temporarily change her, uh, just her personality. Yep, that's what it was. Back to assassin. So that's oh. Well, it was something, something else. Huh? Because she's not doing it now. That was weird. Huh. She's not doing it now. And I did find it weird that she was doing it to begin with. I remember that guard goes around that crate. Or comes out far enough. Or it was... I can't remember. Because Mary was hiding around there. I think she... No, she poked her head around. And he saw her. I think that's what it was. Oh, that's a stupid place to... Sit? No, I can't... I can't creep up on him. Oh, well. Huh. Slit throat. one other guard over here which you don't obviously you don't need to kill him but where'd they go I know there was another one there was two guards because I'm pretty sure that other one was was a male where'd they go I'm not wrong am I wasn't there were two there were two guards or and one of them was a male oh huh. maybe i'm losing my mind oh well hmm that's so weird I don't know. <laughs> it's an awful lot of racket for trying to have a hidden passage. Now I know there's a lot of guards here. But that's okay because we can take care of them. Hey. Why wouldn't it not let me let us do that? We took care of that part. We should have been able to blade of woe her. 
and it shouldn't have mattered that she was on steps. There we go. Snips and Tails game. I'm not really too concerned about what's up in here. Of course, there's your glowing um, hiding spot. Fast running hourglass. Now, if you're not good at sneaking, you know, at least have something to boost you. Uh, stay off these boards because it will make a sound. Well, you can't really hear it too much on her because I, ha I had good, decent sneak. Um, but th those boards are there to cause you to create some kind of sound when you're walking. Eavesdropping, as it says up in the <laughs> up in the corner. See, okay, so we listen to what we need to, so we just follow. Well, we have to keep going. We can get behind them in time. Blade of Woe. Tap, tap. <laughs> stab to the crotch. Stab to the stomach. Stab to the face. And that was after going tap, tap. Excuse me. <laughs> I see, look at that. It's, it's <clears throat> like a uh, sky shard, kind of. Excuse me. It's like, I want that gold-colored stuff. Oh, there's an axe in there. And it's probably just a plain, plain old axe. Empty trunk. Let's see. An egg skimmer, because why not? I know there's a uh, guard that usually comes down these steps see them. Because I do believe they do they come down these steps. I forgot to mention, while the Artorius had contract, the cathedral business forced him to remain in your batch. He indicates that he will support whatever we decide. I will stand here with an iron club, but you, you glorified creep, walk all over Kalash Cat Carabas. I govern while Artorius <laughs> it's 
spider silk twine worth a hundred. Nothing there. Tin of dubbin. <laughs> sure, I'll take a tin of dubbin. Tuft of hair. Um, ew. But hey, money's money. We'll take our level when I can find a spot where I believe we'll be safe. I think right here should be okay. Choose one. Oh, it's cloth. Or... Actually, it's um, high-end um, it's used to improve an item. Because once you make something, like say if you, if you have a low skill level, you may only be able to produce um, like a white item. Then you use something else to turn it to a green and then blue and you know so on and so forth so woodworking or blacksmithing or clothing um i'll go ahead and select that okay so i get three points So what's ruination? Increases your weapon and spell damage. Put one there. Alright, um, let's see. This leaves me with two. I don't remember what Slayer is. I think it's... Okay, yeah, increases your weapon damage for every fighter's guild ability you have slotted, which I don't have any. So, uh, let's see, what do we have down here, what this does? So I don't, so, ugh. I mean, it's not like you have to spend them. You don't have to spend them if you don't want to. What's evocation? And that's passive, right? Yes, that's passive. Grace it would only be snares. Increases magic re recovery. Well, I mean, that... That just helps how much uh, magicka I get back naturally. Let's see if any of these are good for anything. Increases your weapon's critical rating. Uh, increases your stamina recovery. No. Reduces the cost of sneak by 4% for each piece of medium armor. Let's see if we ha how we're doing on keen eye because I'm not worried about. Let's see. I'll put another one here for keen keen eye wood. Uh, let's see. Never put any in rune stones, and I'll put another one in keen eye ore. There we go. All right now did I open that it's 
say, I don't remember opening that up. Because there was a guard, a single guard. That makes me nervous. It's like, where'd he go? Rune chunk. It's worth 40 gold, people. Ah! Shit. It's like, could I have taken her? Oh, heck yeah. That was the guard I was looking for. <laughs> Come on, turn around. Boy, they're not very observant. <laughs> there's like three and there's either two or three of them in there. Two. Okay, there's three in the other room. So I'm only gonna be able to blade of woe one of them. Crotch, stomach, face. <laughs> She's an angry thing, isn't she? Oh, I probably shouldn't have taken everything. Doesn't matter now. Too late! But that's alright. I kind of like her yell when she breaks a uh, crowd control. I definitely think she could... Uh, Probably really intimidate somebody with that yell. Was that just... I thought there was two people over there. Maybe it's just one. Oh, come on, what are you doing? I'm getting a lot of the uh, just stabbing into the lower back. It's like, come on, Blade of Woe, you can do more. You're better than us. And we can't unlock that. Shit! Scared me! <laughs> False eye. Yeah. Cause you never know where it was. I would hope it was in their pocket and still why. It's not like you're gonna look at them and say, Hey look. One of his peepers ain't real. Trying to get him in that into that beam. 
Alright, it's gonna be... Come on, you wanna move? Okay, fine. We, we'll do it the hard way. I was in some kind of area where I couldn't use my spells. There you go. Now you're dead. I was dumb. I did it again. Took everything. But it's all going to be considered stolen, so you have to be careful when you're, I guess, mass looting. Uh-oh. That's one thing I always that made me mad is every he doesn't leave anything. It's like how unfair he's the freaking commander, and you get nothing, no no loot. It's like what kind of BS is that. Oops. <laughs> For some I've forgotten in a while, though. Plus, I'm not really good at reading out loud. That's why I'm kind of glad when we have Mary, because that way, you know, I mean, she's got that mm, British accent. Okay, that was weird. Is it because of, it might be because of the torch? Nope. Oh, for a second there, I thought she wasn't gonna see me. I was gonna say that would have been that would have been something for the history books. Yeah, that would have been amazing, wouldn't it? If she would have just walked right past me and not even seen me. There's two people there. So we'll just come right up over here. And we'll wait for that guard to come back. He's already on his way. Yeah, I was going to say. Should be a worker. I'm not sure if we can sneak up on them or not. We should be able to. Yep. Anything in the basket? Well, anything that we want. A simple abacus. It's worth 40. There's two guards? 
No. More than that. This is no. This isn't the, the room I'm thinking of. It's past this. Past this, there's two guards. In here, there's four. Four or five. The only thing is we won't be able to sneak um, if we get in that ring. But it should, we'll, we should still be able to get it behind them. Ah, uh, they put a wall of, um... Like a wall of silence. Because none of my spells were available. I thought there was somebody up here. It might have been that's where that guy came from. Four. Close, but not close enough. Alright, let's see. Um... Ah, shh! <laughs> oh, I didn't see that thing there. I know that was the idea. <laughs> Jesus! It's a good thing I wasn't going to try to drink at the same time. I would have been drowned. Somebody saw me. Who saw me? see you clearly you either I got myself twisted around. Yay! How did you see me? Tap. Oh, hi. It's like, yep, that's it. Just step right in front of him so that I, I can zap you. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright. Um... Oops. Okay, so... Whoop. We don't want to run. 
We're getting there. Slowly. Don't know if we'll be able to get up to them in time. Ooh. Right in this lower back. First it looked like it went right up Main Street, but no, it didn't. Black Marsh Transportation Guide. That's worth 40. Nothing there. I thought there was something I passed. Nope, just that hiding spot. <laughs> Okay, yeah, now we're at the last area. We'll hear him holler here any second. Show your Oh wow. We lost it. He says something like show yourself assassin or Something like that, or are you one of those cowardly uh, Dark Brotherhood, or are you one of those Dark Brotherhood cowards, or something like that? Well, that was disappointing. Well, that was disappointing, too. <laughs> the other side of her so that way she's taking damage from that okay so he's down there somewhere I don't see him at the moment easiest way to get to him especially if you're gonna to try to do a blade of woe don't come don't come around here Go right through this spot. Come along this wall. And watch and watch out for him because he may you know, you don't if you're wanting to do a stealth kill, you don't want him looking at you. But you will be able to see which way he's facing. See there he is with that hand that hand symbol over his head. When you see that, that means that is a that is a, a target. Yeah. I moved out of the way just in time. Because usually once you're spotted, you only have a split second to react, to get out of the way. And it was kind of like one of those, nah, type things. Hopefully he won't turn around. Oh, well. Assassin, guards, defend me. You don't have any guards. Now we get a bonus, it says we, um, a bonus use the Blade of Woe. Which, whatever the bonus is, we're not going to get. I don't know what the bonus would have been, but... I mean, I tried. I tried. He just turned around. I broke one of my own little rules. When you go and you, like, first see your enemy, if they're standing still, don't just try to sneak up on them. If you're after a stealth kill, wait. Because you don't know how long they've been standing there. Their time at that position could have just started. Or it could only be, you know, like one or two seconds left, which is like what happened there. I saw him standing. I'm thinking, oh, you know, perfect. I'll be able to get to uh, 
sneak up behind him. Nope. But. Let's see. Yeah, the, uh. And we've got a healthy bounty. I know you can't see it, but if you could, it says 4,495 gold. And I am attack on sight. And of course, the attack on sight means guards. So any guards that see me, they're not going to try to, um, you know, get my bounty from me. They're just going to want me dead. And there is no way I am paying that kind of that kind of cash. And I don't think she has one of those. Let's just see for laughs if she happens to have any of those things. Use those recipes. I really don't think she has any. It's a lot of stuff. Um, I think it would be under here. No, no, we don't. We don't have any of those um, pardons. Shit. Another one. <laughs> wow, Beach Inferno Staff of Flames, huh? All I was trying to do is get this pure water. That is all I wanted to do. Psychos? Well, I know what I was going to do. I was wanting to... Um, See about the um, Outlaws Refuge. But we need to get closer first. Nope, there's a I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Ooh, maple. Yeah. I know, puppy dogs, puppy dogs, puppy dogs. Go away, little puppy dogs. Can't remember exactly where it's at. Let's look at the map. It's 
It's like close. Where'd it go? There it is. Oof. I'm not going to get rid of the bounty. I just want to go in there and sell the stuff. Because that's a huge bounty. I definitely don't want to get caught by a guard. That's a lot of money to lose. There's a fence. I thought there was one right close. I refuse to see an alchemist. You want to meet a real outlaw? Look at what they charge for tonics. <laughs> All right, let's see how much we actually are. Do we have that that many? That's like a hundred. There's one. Well, let's just do it that way. Um, well, let's see. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, so that's 400 right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, seven 8, 9, 10, 11, so that's another 400. So that's 1, so that'd be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that's 3 now. We have enough to do another one? We just might. So we're up to 1,200 right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's four. So that's 1,600. 17, 18, 19, 2,000, 22, 24. Four. Now we're going to have to go to launder, unfortunately. 24. So that would be 25, 26, roughly 27, 20, about 2,800. So now that we laundered something, basically it's clean now. So now we can sell it to a regular merchant. Anything I can do for you? Go up here to the top. Check for any consumables. I already know this one, but we'll see if Mary needs it. Okay, so we'll get that. Mm, creepy monkey. No, I'll hold on to that for now. And hold on to those. And I think that's it. All right, so. Now they all, now we just have to go to speak uh, to uh, what's his beak the speaker which we're just gonna have to be careful because I don't want to lose that much money so we're gonna be extra careful or we're just gonna have to run for our lives. Oh, tell me this is not... <sighs> well, <sighs> darn it. Wrong one. There's usually an entrance inside the city and outside. 
So now I just need to, which, wherever the other one is, because I know I wasn't inside the city. It's what got do you want? here somewhere. Okay, is it the... Yep. Uh, that should take us where I wanted to be, back outside the city. Yes. And there's the lighthouse where we need to go. Speaker Terranus, or Terranus. We know that Quintus Jarrell is dead. The Brotherhood has eyes everywhere. You have done well. The Covenant is sealed, signed in blood. Welcome to the family, sister. That's all I had to do to prove myself? We have been watching you for a long time. Killing the nobles simply sealed our covenant. Now you need to meet your brother. I will send you to a sanctuary, a safe house of sorts, a home, as well as a source of additional contracts. Where is the sanctuary? Not far. It's the reason I summoned you to the Gold Coast. There is much work to accomplish here, and you will be part of that. Your new home lies to the north, hidden beneath Varen's Wall. Go there, and attempt to open. The black door? The black door will pose a question. What is the flavor of fear? Reply, sublime, my brother, and the sanctuary shall be open to you. Once inside, seek out Astara. She has additional instructions for you. <laughs> now, if you remember, he just said, attempt to open the black door. Which means he's posing a puzzle. But then he just goes and tells you how to do it. <laughs> it's like, okay. Uh, are there other sanctuaries? Of course. Since the formation of the Dark Brotherhood, our shadow has stretched across the entirety of Tamron. Not every sanctuary has flourished, however. And our grip isn't as secure as we'd like in certain parts of I don't understand. Not that it concerns you, but Vardenfell continues to be a source of irritation. The Gold Coast, however, presents an opportunity we can all profit from. Here we can establish a foothold that will serve the Brotherhood for generations to come. I think reason why they say Vardenfell continues to be a source of irritation, because that's where the Morag Tong is. That would be my guess. Um, why are you called a speaker? I am the voice of the Night Mother. She conveys her will to the listener, who then passes it on to one of the four speakers of the Black Hand to carry out. The Black Hand? The Black Hand. The instrument by which the Night Mother rules the Dark Brother. It consists of one listener and four speakers. Four fingers and a thumb. Never more. Black Hand oversees the sanctuaries, among other duties. What happened to the woman in the chair? Just a little business I had to attend to. I do like to keep my dagger shut, as it were. Her family had certain documents and presumed to make allegations that might have embarrassed the Brotherhood. So you kill her to avoid embarrassment? Certain obligations to the world. 
I gave her the greatest gift of all. Solace. Just as you gave the same gift to Lord Jarrell. And there will be many more gifts to grant before your work is done. Now we have to go to the sanctuary. Which isn't too far. I should throw, throw it up on the map. It is right there. And there is a way shrine right about there. So yes, we will have to have to ride to get there. But that's okay. That'll shave off a little bit of our bounty. And the funny thing is, I'm not playing her, going to be playing her as an assassin. Um so I, you know, I won't be using her Blade of Woe very often. And with that said, she's gained a larger, I don't think, I can't remember, but I don't think that I've ever had a bounty this high before. I want to get to that ore, but I know he's in the way. trying to heal. <laughs> Aw, after all that, I didn't even get anything from him. That was disappointing. Uh... I was going to say, I thought I saw something blue. It was that one horse. If it's the one I'm thinking of, it's not as it's not really that cool. They just took a plain just a plain horse and turned it to a ghost. So it's just meh. I've seen so much better. I know I was planning on uh riding this, but I think it might be safer if I don't. As long as we don't run into any guards, we're fine. How far do I still have to go? Quite a ways. Yeah, we're, we need to ride this. We should be okay. This way. I know you're probably thinking, man, we just got to Davin's watch and here he is already taking us to a different land. But it's not like we're going to be running the Dark Brotherhood quest line from beginning uh, to end in one shot. We're going to make it to, I think, the first chapter and then I think you, we, we won't see anything for a bit. Then that's when I'll head back to Davin's watch. There's the way shrine. The thing is, you can easily miss the entrance to the uh, Dark Brotherhood if you're not if you're not careful. I'll show you what I... Oh, I was to say, give them a couple seconds. Now watch. Oh, watch where you gotta go. What's you thinking? Oh, it's up, up here somewhere, so you're gonna want to go up this way. But no, it's right here. And you're thinking, where? There's no entrance there. 
But see, that person just came out of there. Watch. See? And even here, it doesn't look, and I mean, if you don't get any closer, it does not look like that goes to anything. It just looks like it's a wall. But then, here we go. Sublime, my brother. <laughs> he didn't get to say the word home for some weird reason. So now we have to go talk to Astara. There's the stained glass. Look at all the detail in that. It's pretty cool, huh? And then they even... Well, it's not the... Was there a different one? Maybe it's a different time of the day. Um, this thing will actually cast light right down here. And it's really good. I get, I'm guessing it's, uh, the sun's not in the right place. There's a Stara. You must be the new initiate. The speaker sent word that you were on your way. I'm the matron of this sanctuary. Obey me without question, and I'm certain we'll get along just fine. Of course, matron. And this is for you, shrouded armor, the uniform of the Dark Brotherhood. You're one of the family now. You might as well look the part. Perform well, and you'll rise in the ranks of the Brotherhood. I'm sure you'll make us all proud. And look look what's one of the things we got. We got the unidentified Sithis touch weapon, and then we got a leniency edict. That's like the counterfeit edict, except that one should, should be genuine. We are all brothers and sisters, children of the Night Mother and our dread father. Even lone assassins need a family. Introduce yourself to the others. They can provide advice and information, even support for your more challenging contracts. Will I get another contract soon? Eager are you? That's good. Then go and talk to Elam Drawls. He handles lesser contracts for the new initiates. Prove yourself to him, and more interesting assignments will follow. Welcome to the family. I'll go talk to Elam Drawls. Explore the sanctuary. Meet the others. At least the ones currently at home. I believe Green Venom Tongue, Kor, Hildegard, Mirabelle, Simbar, and Tanik are available. When you're done, Elam should have a new task for you to accomplish. Tell me more about yourself, Matron. The past isn't something we talk about here. For most of us, our lives didn't really begin until we were called to serve the Night Mother. And I was called at a very early age. Have you always been the matron of the sanctuary? No one joins the Brotherhood and immediately steps into a position of power. That's not how we do things. I had to prove myself, show that I was dedicated to the Night Mother and her tenants. I served for many years before I earned my title. How did you advance through the ranks in this sanctuary? The sanctuary has always been my home in the Brotherhood, if that's what you're asking. I've seen the Gold Coast change over the years, but that's enough questions about me. I wouldn't want to think you were taking my measure for some reason. I heard something about a Dark Brotherhood member being murdered. Where did you... Oh, they were discussing that at the Noble's Estate, were they? Oh, at the that Noble's Estate. Okay. It's true. Someone has been killing our brothers and sisters. When the hunters become the hunted, it's like the world has gone askew. I could have sworn there was something had to do with a Dark Brotherhood member, like staked up in a wall, um, staked up to a wall in an inn somewhere. I mean, am I thinking of a different game? The only reason why I question myself is because I've never actually seen it. I've heard about it, but I've never actually seen it. So. I mean, if I, if it's not this game, or 
wherever it is, I mean, since I don't know where it is, someone let me know where it's at, because if it is this game, I'd like to know where it is, because I'd actually like to go see it, just to see what the atmosphere is around the room, and see if we're able to pick anything from the, you know, from the body for, like, clues or something, and just see what people are saying. Uh, any idea who the murderer is? We're investigating the matter. It's not unusual for our pasts to catch up with us, and it's not like we have a shortage of enemies. We'll learn the identity of this killer, and then there will be a reckoning. Who would dare challenge the Dark Brotherhood? True. Few have the audacity to openly oppose us, but there are many who would love to see the Brotherhood abolished. This feels... different. Stay vigilant. Keep your eyes open and report anything you notice as you execute your duties. All right, so we have to go. Let's see, collections, sets. We got a battle axe of Red Mountain. What else did we get? Something D something else Varden fell we got something oh what was that a sword war maiden sword all right uh, inventory supplies Sithis's great sword well not something this girl uses but still nice Um, right, uh, where is it? Leniency Edict. Removes 2,000 worth of your bounty on use and also clears all heat. So I would no longer be kill on sight, but I would still have a huge bounty. But since it's close to the end, end of stream time... I'm just going to leave it because we're still going to be in here for a few minutes. So let's see. Um, so we're going to go talk to um, at least a couple of members, maybe all the members we need to. And then by the time I'm back here, um, Saturday, um, this heat, this all this will be gone. So that's what we'll do. Here's Green Venom Tongue. Ah, I heard we had a new initiate on the premises. I was just checking my notes and realized the details concerning you are sorely lacking. We'll need to rectify that before too long. The matron suggested, su suggested I introduce myself. She did. Interesting. I wonder what she's planning this time. Well, I'm certain everything will become clear eventually. Even you, I suppose. Why do they call you Green Venom Tongue? Aren't you familiar with the cherished Black Marsh custom? Consuming various venomous concoctions to bolster our natural immunity? I drank so much my tongue turned green. Ha! <laughs> the new initiates fall for that every time. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. And you as well, Initiate. I look forward to interviewing you at length when you have some time. For my journal, of course. I keep meticulous records. I'll help you, you'll help me. Isn't that what the Bretons call a win-win? I'd like to know um, a bit more about you. What more could you possibly need to know? I am a Shadow Scale. My life begins and ends with the Dark Brotherhood. What's a shadow scale? I could have sworn I explained this before. Let me check my notes. Hmm. Well, like other Argonians born under the sign of the shadow, I was taken upon hatching and trained to be an assassin. That makes me a good killer. A very good killer. Do you like living here? What an intriguing inquiry. Attempting to ascertain if I actually like it here, or something more subtle. Well, 
Like or dislike is meaningless. I served the Matron as I served my former sanctuary. And as I served Black Marsh when called upon. Uh, former sanctuary? The river carries us where it will. And that's all I prefer to say about that at this time. I was there. Now I am here. As are you, Initiate. Is there actually something about me in that book? Perhaps. Depending upon what you mean by something and me. Rest assured, whatever musings and observations I record herein are strictly confidential. <laughs> Just one big mind screw. <laughs> Uh, any advice you want to share with a new recruit? Now this one I know I've written down. Study the five tenets. Learn them. Memorize them. Live them. There's a copy in the sanctuary. Someplace. I'd let you look at this one, but I don't let anybody read my journals. That would be... inadvisable. I see. Anything else? Such a curious mind. Then listen carefully, Initiate. Contracts must be taken seriously. Always obey the Matron's instructions to the letter. And don't get yourself killed. Though that probably goes without saying. Alright, well that takes care of Green Venom Tongue. Let's talk to Simbar. I don't remember ever actually talking to him first. Family initiate. Once you figure out your place here, I'm sure you'll do fine. Just don't try to encroach on Mirabelle's area of expertise. There will be more than one spy and infiltrator in our sanctuary. Understand? <laughs> Here's a shiny. Alright, so we still got a few people left to meet. And there's Mirabelle. And we're gonna call it. Because I still <laughs> I still have to make my my lunches for work and I go to work tonight, so need to get that out of the way. Read my mail, get my stuff from the hirelings, like that. All right, we're going to go ahead and we are going to log out. And that's going to do it until Saturday. So, um, wait till it gets us logged out here. Oh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. Uh, well, anyways, like I was saying, that's going to that's going to do it um, until Saturday. Um, Mary and I will be running our co-op team some more because we're still uh, doing the Dark Brother. Actually, we just we finished the Dark Brotherhood first chapter of it, and then we were headed to get ready to start uh, the Thieves Guild. So sat after Saturday's stream, Mary and I are going to get back on those uh, on those characters and run the first chapter of Thieves Guild. So that way we get that going. We get uh, those guilds as part of our skill skill trees. We can put skill points in, and then we'll head back to uh, Darkwood, Blackwood, whatever it's called. <laughs> And then we'll be ready for the uh, to just pick up where we left off in the co-op um, on Sunday. But um, anyways, that's going to do it, folks. Um, thank you uh, for being here. I hope you had a good time. And I hope you'll join me on Saturday for um, the next stream. Um, I hope you had a uh, safe 4th of July. Um, it's the 8th, <laughs> in case you're wondering. Um, but anyways, that's going to take care of it, folks. Um, so please 
take care of yourselves. Thanks again. Uh, don't forget, um, if you're watching this on, on Facebook Live or YouTube, make sure to go to my Twitch channel, um, twitch.tv forward slash Grim Fury, and give me a follow. Um, it'll help me out a great deal. Um, it gets me closer to 50 followers. Once I hit 50 followers, I can become an affiliate. I'll have, um, there'll be more things I can do um, in my stream, mostly having to do with um, uh, interactions um, in, the, in the chat. Um, also then I should be able to have it where people can start uh, donating and tipping me. So uh, please let you know, let your friends know uh, tell them to come check, you know, you know, check me out, and, uh, you know, they don't have to just come over and follow, have them, have them watch, uh, watch one of my videos, see if it's something that they, that they're, that they'd like, then they can give me a follow, but anyways, folks, <laughs> I'm, I'm just rambling, um, gonna get out of here, so, thanks again, take care of yourself, and, um, I'll see you guys Saturday. Take care, everyone. Love you. Bye-bye.